area you two have delved into that's very intriguing and help me understand this. There are something, it's, it's called generational curses, yes. uh, our ancestors that have committed horrible sins, somehow the bad that they received as a result of their sins just passes on from generation to generation. But why should I be responsible for what some great, 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 great grandfather did? It certainly doesn't seem fair. No. The Bible says that uh, the sins of the father and mother can go down to the third and fourth generation. And after we had started doing deliverances for a while, we started going back three or four generations. Then the Lord had us go back sometimes 10 generations, 15 generations, 20, and even hundreds of generations. And as I thought about it, I believe the Lord told us that if a sin is empowered again in the next generation, then it can go down another three or four, so you're now down to five generations. If it's empowered again and go down another generation, which is at six generations. In fact, the Bible even says some curses are everlasting curses. Uh, the curse of illegitimacy, according to Deuteronomy, is ten generations. So it is very conceivable that these curses and these difficulties that we are suffering from today have come down through our family line. And we have found that when we ask the Lord to reveal the source or the root of these curses, which may be hundreds of generations back, we have found people become much freer because of this. Now you were telling me last night when we were discussing this that you believe that Jesus had such a river of this presence of God that when he prayed for his first followers, all that junk was cleaned out. I very much believe that when our Lord was present on the earth, he cleaned out people totally, and that is why they experienced so much power. And what we need to get to today is into that condition where we are totally cleaned out by the Spirit of God so there are no resistors inside of us to the flow of the power of God.